So we'll talk about Poisson processes and some of its properties. Uh, so essentially, it's a arrival or departure processes. Things happen. Things are arriving randomly. So you can see the arrival instance are random. Uh, so what we mean by Poisson processes is uh, maybe two mild conditions. If you take some interval zero to t, then the number of arrivals in that duration. Uh, looks like a Poisson random variable. What I mean, so let me denote x of t to be the number of arrivals in 0 to t. So the x of t equal to k is uh, looks like a Poisson random variable with parameter which is proportional to the duration of the interval. In this case, it is uh, t, and uh, the so the whole parameter is lambda t. Then the second condition is that. Uh, things uh, over non on so arrivals over non overlapping intervals so this is the number of arrivals in t1 to t2 this is the arrivals in t3 and t4 and you can see clearly the way i have drawn uh, they are non overlapping because t3 is greater than t2 these random variables are independent so this also you can justify if I use the uh, assumption, uh, or if you, uh, if you consider that the Poisson processes in the, uh, themselves are some limiting uh, case of binomial random variables and where the <coughs> arrivals are independent Bernoulli, then you can see that uh, events over non overlapping inter intervals are in indeed independent. So these are the two working conditions. So the immediate question is, oh, what is its mean and variance? So expected value of x of t, remember for any t this mean behaving like a Poisson random variable, uh, so it's uh, lambda t, it's a parameter itself, and expected value of <coughs> x squared t, or is actually the, so consequently the variance of lambda t also is, uh, is also equal to Variance of x of t is also lambda, so consequently x squared is variance plus uh, square of the mean, so it's lambda t plus lambda squared t squared. Now the question is, what is the autocorrelation function of this uh, process? Uh, so this is of course expected value of x t1, x t2. Remember, it's a real process, so we'll try to do this exploiting this. Uh, 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 independent property. So if you look at this uh, product, so I do, I'm going to arrange two random variables that are independent. This is of course the number of, uh, so long as I don't count the edge on both of them, this is the events in the interval t1 to t2, let's say, and this is in open interval, this is the number of events in 0 to t1. So these intervals being non-overlapping with t1 only being counted on one of them. Uh, these two independent events are independent. Consequently, the expected value of this is the product of the expected values e x t one multiplied by e of x t two minus uh, x t one. So this is easy. This is from here lambda t one uh, from the first line, and this is similarly. This is a Poisson random variable with parameter <coughs> uh, lambda. Uh, uh, t2 minus t1 so this is lambda multiplied by t2 minus t1 on the other hand you can also expand this this multiplied by this which is expected value of x t1 x t2 minus expected value of x uh, squared t1 so this is what we are looking for so this is r x x uh, t1 comma t2 uh, minus expected value of x squared is here so that's uh, minus of lambda t1 plus lambda squared t1 squared equal to from here uh, lambda squared t1 t2 minus lambda squared t1 uh, squared so this cancels on both the sides by giving us rxx uh, t1 comma t2 is lambda squared t1 t2 plus lambda t1 this is the case when t2 is greater than t1 that's the way we have taken 
<coughs> you can see t2 is greater than t1 and uh, if the other way it will turn out to be lambda square t1 t2 plus lambda t2 if t2 is less than t2 so together you could say this is lambda square t1 t2 uh, plus lambda min of uh, t1 comma t2 